Ten Habits of Highly Successful People. Why are some people more successful than the others? You see, you don't decide your future. You decide your habits, and your habits decide your future. No one succeeds overnight, and no one fails overnight. Success is nothing more than a sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Today, I want to share with you the ten successful habits that I have learned and developed over the years. Habit number one: Successful people take a hundred percent responsibility for their own life. You see, I was struggling. I was in my twenties. I had just failed my thirteenth businesses. I had started and failed at thirteen businesses, and back then I was lost, and I was blaming. I was blaming everything else. And when I met my first mentor, Alan, when he sat down with me, and he asked me the question, "Dan, what's not working?" I said, "Everything is not working, right? I'm not making enough money, right? I'm in debt. I had all these failures. I don't understand. Customers are so cheap. The government, I don't know why, right? The tax so so high. Everything and the economy is bad. And I was just pointing fingers at everyone else. I wasn't taking responsibility for my own life." And my mentor Alan said to me, "Unless and until you take a hundred percent responsibility for your own life, Dan, you're not going to be successful." And I thought to myself, "Hmm, maybe he's right. Maybe." At that time, I thought, "Maybe, maybe not a hundred percent, but maybe I'm at fault." And he says, "Not maybe, because you chose to start those businesses. You chose." Those partners, you chose to spend your time on this. Every single decision you made on your own, right to the best of your knowledge, but still you chose what happened. You chose and you act on it. And from then on, I learned to take responsibility. The buck stops with me. If it's meant to be, it's up to me, and it's something that you need to think about because lame people blame people. You can make money, or you can produce results. You cannot do both. So that's habit number one: take a hundred percent responsibility for your own life. Habit number two, and that is, you have to decide exactly what you want. Most people in life don't get what they want because they don't know what they want. And my mentor said to me, "Well, Dan, you need to set a goal." Now, up to that point, I haven't. I haven't set any goals," he said. "I want you to set a goal. What is it that you really want?" Now, at the time, as a a young person, I thought my dream, my dream was I wanted to buy the RX8 Master, red rotary engine, and I thought if I could get that car, I have made it, right? That was my dream. That was my only dream. Right? I thought it would be so cool if I could drive that car, and he said, "Good." Said that's a goal. Make that. That's what you want to do, right? I said, okay, great. So now, from kind of like you know, I'm doing all these things and I'm starting all these businesses, and I wanted to provide for my mom, but I I needed something to motivate myself, right? I needed something that I, I could I could see that I could feel that I could just focus on, and the RX8 that was it for me because at the time I was driving the Master Hatchback Master Three. Right, and I wanted to upgrade. That was my dream. So habit number two: you have to know exactly what you want. Once you know exactly what you want, habit number three is you have to believe it is possible. That's it. You just have to believe that it is possible, not just for others but for yourself. Now, for me back then, because I was already driving the Master Three. So in my mind, it wasn't like I was trying to get a Lamborghini, a Ferrari. I was like, okay, it's an upgrade, right? If I could focus, that maybe, just maybe, it's possible for me. So it doesn't seem like so far fetched. It doesn't seem like you're not living in the basement with your mom and now you want to buy a ten million dollar home. It was like, hey, I'm driving a hatchback and I could upgrade to a sports car. That was it. So you have to believe it's possible. It's possible. For you, Napoleon Hill talks about this in *Think and Grow Rich*. Whatever your mind can conceive and believe, you can achieve, and it's very, very true. 
you have to first believe that you could do it. Habit number four, highly successful people, they visualize success. So here's what I did. Once I know that this is my goal, once I take 100% responsibility that I can make it happen, and I believe that I can make it happen, I visualize success. So I cut out a, a page from a magazine that had the RX8 on it, and I put it on my vision board. I would look at it every day and I would visualize what it looks like. Right? I would close my eyes and I could, I could see the, 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 the interior of the car, that I could see that my, my hands is right here, right? I can, I can see the, the stick, right? I, I could see the whole car, I can see the, the, the interior, I can, I can feel the leather seat. And I would visualize and visualize and visualize it, until it becomes so vivid in my mind that I could see it, I could, I could smell it, I could, I could feel it, right? I could feel this. I, I deserve this. This is what I could do. And I do that every day. Visualize my success. So that's habit number four. You have to visualize your success. Habit number five, successful people act as if. So when I hang out with my friends at the time and we would see an, an Alex 8 driving by and I would tell them, hey, that's my car right there. And they thought, Again, you're crazy. What are you talking about? That's not your car. And I said, that's my car. No, you drive the, the hatchback. Said, no, 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 that is my car. Every single time I see the RX-8, I was acting as if, I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying to anybody. I was conditioning myself. I was acting as if the result has already been accomplished. So I act and talk in a way that, hey, you know what? That It's mine. It's mine already. It's done. It's a done deal. So acting as if. See, most people, they wait till that they see the result and then they say, oh yeah, then they feel that they deserve it. No. First, you have to believe that you deserve it first before the result will come along. It's the other way around. Habit number six. Successful people are willing to pay the price. So it's one thing to dream, it's one thing to believe, but at the end of the day, you have to do something, right? You have to be willing to pay the price. And in this case, because it's simply a car, it's quite easy to calculate. So I found out exactly and precisely how much it's gonna cost, this car, right? And I thought to myself, okay, it's gonna cost me this much down payment, and it's gonna cost me this much in monthly payment. Okay, so what I needed to do is I need to focus on generating enough income to pay for that. And I was willing to pay the price. So when my friends, when they were going to pubs, when they were partying, when they were just wasting time, I was working. I was just working day in, day out, long hours, every single day, no, no break, no time off. I would just focus because I was willing to pay the price. So one of the questions that you have to ask yourself is, what price are you willing to pay for success? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to sacrifice? Because there's always a trade-off. There's always a trade-off. Habit number seven, successful people feel the fear and they do it anyway. See, a lot of people, they think that successful people have no fears. Of course we have fears. Of course we have doubts. Of course we are afraid to make a decision sometimes. We're human beings. The difference is we don't let the fear stop us. We don't let the fear dictate what we are or what we are not going to do. We feel the fear, you feel the fear, but we do it anyway. I remember I had to pick up the phone. I had to call business owners. I had to go call and get clients. Was I afraid? You bet. Was I nervous? You bet. Do I like those rejections? No, of course not. Right, of course not, but I feel the fear. And I do it anyway. I do it anyway. I do it anyway. You just keep at it. You keep at it and you keep at it. Habit number eight. Successful people seek mentorship. You see, unsuccessful people, very often they have a big ego. And please, listen to me. Your ego is not your amigo. Your ego is not your friend. Your ego will destroy you. 
See, when I was doing it my way, right, I let my pride, my ego, stop me from seeking mentorship until I found my first mentor. Now, that may or may not be the answer for everybody. I'm just telling you that was the answer for me. Finding my mentor, finding that first mentor changed my life. It turned my life around. Seeking mentorship. I don't have all the answers. I don't know everything. There's no way someone knows everything. And the more you learn, the more you realize how little that you know. So my mentor was giving me the mindset and the skill set that I needed to achieve my goals to buy that RX8. Does that mean I don't have failures? Of course I have failures. But success is going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. Winston Churchill. So habit number nine, successful people have enthusiasm. You notice high income people, they have high energy. Low income people, they have low energy. They can't get anything done. They're not productive. They cannot make it happen. They lack the vitality, the energy, right? The enthusiasm, the stamina to make things happen. And how are you gonna accomplish anything if you don't approach anything with passion and enthusiasm, right? You may not be the best at it right now, but if you are enthusiastic and you believe and you're passionate, incredibly passionate about what you do, you're gonna make it happen. So that's a very, very key habit that kind of makes everything work. And that leads to the last habit, and that's habit number 10. Successful people commit to constant improvement. You see, after I did all these things, I act as if I paid the price. I seek mentorship. I kept going. And finally, I got the car. And I was so excited, I went to the dealership. And by that time, I had already test drove the car multiple times. I knew exactly what I was getting myself into. And I walked into the dealership and the car salesman was telling me he has never sold a car this fast. We got the paperwork done. I drove the car off the dealership and what's fascinating is, and I thought, and I was excited. It was great, right? And I was driving the car, right? Off the parking lot and you know how I felt? Peace. I felt that I've seen this, I've experienced this many, many times. I felt that just like, hey, you know what? This is, this is my car because I've visualized it so many times. I was actually incredibly calm. This is how it's supposed to be. And it's great. It's like a deja vu, that kind of feeling. Because I've seen it in in, in my mind so many times, I acted as if I knew, I knew it's mine. And when it's mine, okay, yeah, it's mine. What's the big deal, right? And then I said the next goal, right? I wanna, I wanna get the next car. And I know at the time I thought car was my thing. I'm not interested in those things anymore. But at the time I thought I'll, I'll get the next car, the next car, the Mercedes, the, the Audi R8 and on and on and on and the Bentley and all those things, right? So successful people, seek mentorship, they also never stop improving. It's always about becoming better, becoming a better version of yourself. If you want to be healthier, what do you need to do? You will study nutrition, you will study fitness, right? If you want to be a good cook, you will learn recipes, you will learn from other chefs, you will brainstorm ideas. It's no different. If you want to be successful, you have to make that a subject that you study. It has to be something that you take seriously. It's something that you put some effort in. So comment below and share with me which one of these successful habits that you are going to implement. Maybe you won't implement all of them at once, but what is that one habit that you want to implement today? Comment below and let me know.